Well, Adam Kamrat Scott is an expert in the spread and control of infectious diseases at the University of Sydney, and he joins us now. Adam, good to have you on the show. Um, still, a lot is unknown, but just tell us how difficult it is to prevent the spread of a virus such as this. Uh, it's quite difficult when the virus has already achieved what's described as a human to human transmission in that it is spread by a respiratory route. Uh, in those sorts of circumstances, viruses can spread uh, just like influenza, um, which is probably one of the ones that most people know more readily. The coronavirus itself is uh, normally associated with the common cold. So that's what we usually see in most people uh, if they get a cold or flu-like symptoms, it's usually a coronavirus. This one's just a bit nastier. You say that we've reached a critical tipping point in terms of it becoming uh, to a point where it can be transmitted from humans to humans, but why is it that we have this virus which appears to have started in China? Uh, what I'm trying to ask is, is enough being done to proactively prevent these viruses being transferred from animals to humans? Well, oftentimes we don't know uh, that new virus is a uh, posing risk to humans until it actually manifests in humans. Uh, with the SARS outbreak, they did studies um, which then subsequently went back over two years uh, to identify uh, one, one study revealed that it appeared that the antibodies for the SARS coronavirus was actually circulating in people's bloodstreams for up to two years prior to the SARS outbreak. We don't know how long this virus has been circulating. It could have just emerged suddenly uh, or it could have been circulating uh, behind the scenes and then has mutated into this new form. Uh, until we identify the host, and we're able to uh, verify that, we won't really know that for certain. Okay, in terms of the steps that are being taken in terms of preventing this, uh, this spread of this virus, are the authorities, specifically the ones in China, are they doing enough? Well, it appears so at the moment. Uh, certainly you could probably appreciate uh, the quarantine of a city of 11 million people is rather rare in the circumstances we have governments decide to shut down cities in the past. Um, a good example was Mexico City in 2009 with the H1N1 influenza virus. Um, so it's it's not that it's unprecedented, it's obviously just very rare. Um, and those measures have been taken principally to try and slow the spread of the virus primarily domestically throughout China. But obviously we have the added benefit that it would also help slow the outbreak internationally. The big question at the moment is to what extent are there other local community level uh, transmission events occurring in other cities around China. And that we don't really know at the moment. That's good to speak to an expert on this. All right, um, Adam Kamenet-Scott, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World.